If you know the Twilight Zone like the back of your hand, then you must be familiar with the episode Eye of the Beholder, a memorable show that even the casual audience would know about to this day. Then there's an episode from the fifth season of the Twilight Zone that most people probably know about. Number 12 looks like you. An episode that has very similar themes like Eye of the Beholder, but tells a very different kind of story. Beholder presents a tale of how individual spirit overcomes the pressures of conformity in society. Number 12 tells the story of an innocent person being forced to conform no matter how they feel or think about their society's beliefs. There's something interesting about these two episodes. Not only do they have very similar themes in their stories, but there is some writing in both episodes that almost parallel each other, which raises an interesting question. Eye of the Beholder ends with the main character leaving with another quote-unquote freak who then goes to a village that is populated by other people that look just like them. And these are the people that are considered outcasts in Eye of the Beholder. At some point in number 12, we have a pretty looking psychologist that talks about the history of his society for a brief moment. He talks about a world that existed in the past, a world that was ugly in thought, attitude, and appearance. That ugly world vanished and was forgotten about. And now there only exists a world full of supermodel bodies and happy smiles. Now, I'm not trying to say that there's a missing link between these two stories, but I would like to raise a what-if question. What if these two episodes of The Twilight Zone just happen to live in the same universe? What if the story of Number 12 Looks Just Like You begins where Eye of the Beholder ends? Anyone who is a Twilight Zone fan, just take this as some food for thought. And thanks for watching.